water kind of line. Uh, today I would like to introduce you to the term of Qin Xin, which means body dropping. Qin Xin consists of two characters. The first of Qin means to drop, and Xin means body. Um, usually when it's uh, coming to karate, body dropping actually means to drop your body weight. You can see and try this yourself at home when you have a scale and you stand on the scale, in my case it would be something like 95 kilograms um, and when you stand on the scale it will tell you 95 kilograms. However, when you move or when you jump in the air and land on the scale you can see that the amount of weight is going up and then when your body settles the scale will even it out and then finally it goes back to 95 kilograms. So what does this mean? This means that your weight is not a static number it depends on the amount of pressure applied. Okay, there are several variations of body dropping, uh, which I explain in my blog at watercard.nl. But for this video, I want to limit myself uh, to the body dropping facilitated by your knees uh, so that you can let your body drop by gravity. So uh, when you simply bend your legs, your body weight will go down, but it will be slowly because you tense your leg muscles. So in order to uh, avoid this, you have to shut down your leg muscles completely drop by your knee and as you can see if I do it quickly my dogie falls onto my shoulders. You can use this actually as a test, testing method whether you're dropping uh, fast enough or not. Alright so we're going to add uh, this idea to a training method which I learned from uh, Lupina Sensei. So when you take a, a nine inch dutch to practice for Sotobazuki, bazuki you can extend your knees and then drop. So for example you're going to let your body drop and strike then come up Drop and strike. Okay, so but you have to do it quickly, obviously. It depends on your ankle flexibility. My ankles are not that flexible, so this is the deepest that I can drop. However, when you take a, a Schkolletsch instead of the Nahantje Dutch, it's easier to use your hips so you can drop much more deeply. So it's uh, maybe easier for beginners to practice. So you can also take the Schkolletsch, extend both fists and retract either side, then extend your legs, drop into Schkolletsch so that it's easier to time your strike. This concludes this uh, video on Chin Shin. Uh, basically I showed you one training method and a variation which you can use to facilitate your knees to uh, practice body dropping. And if you add uh, your weight to your strike it simply uh, generates more impact. If you add techniques to your uh, let's say blocks then uh, the weight of your block will increase and they will feel more heavy. Maybe it's interesting to know that when Ishka Sensei practiced with Oskar Sensei he said to me that he didn't feel the block as being hard but the block felt more heavy. And to me that's a sign that uh, of course Oskar Sensei himself also used the body dropping and maybe not as deep or as drastic as I showed you today but that's uh, let's say the beginner version to step up to uh, move on to internal body dropping. Uh, if you would like to know more um, please check my blog at watercai.nl I wrote uh, some more stuff about it obviously and also I showed the application how you can use body dropping um, with a leg switch. Alright, I'll see you soon for our next video and thanks again for watching. Stay tuned!